Wow. Obviously, because beautiful love stories you've had tonight, and I want to start with uh, Semakula and Brenda. What advice would you give to a couple that's watching and is presently now trying to decide, will I be with her? She's too young. Will I be with him? Maybe he's too old. So what advice would you give them? What I would say is be true to yourself. Uh, don't listen to the noises from outside. Like, if that deep conviction within you tells you that this is the best fit for you, go along with it. And then also, uh, there is no perfection in human communication in the sense that we are all different. So understanding that whichever way, depending, there will always be differences, just find a way of working it out. Give it your best. If it doesn't work, but if you are giving it your best and it works, then live with that. What about you, Sivakula? I'll put it simpler. Three things, actually. One, communicate. Two, communicate. Three, communicate. Oh. <laughs> That's how strong communication is. Yes. Without that, because um, a lot of times, and I'm not speaking about just people like us who have got an age difference, even people who are literally from the same background, uh, same faith, same everything, literally, they should be peas in a pod. And you find they can't match with each other because half the time they don't even listen to each other. They're either listening to the rest of the world around them, the families, the friends, the everything else except the two of them. Mm. That's why I repeat, communicate, communicate, communicate. communicate. And maybe let me go to Burak and Naomi. What advice would you give again? Because for you it's long distance dating. And also, there's the race issue here, there's the culture issue here at play as well. What advice would you give to guys who are walking down the same path as you? Okay, I'll say, take your time, guys. Take your time, get to know someone. Um, don't live to please the society. People have a lot of expectations. Oh, you're dating a white guy, or maybe you have money, or you have this, or you have this. So just be you, take your time, get to know your partner, and... Yeah, don't live to impress. Just be happy. You agree? Yes. And I can add, uh, as my lifestyle as well, as character or the lifestyle, the philosophy that I follow, not only for the relationships that we experience, I find it right to live like not only mentally, but also emotions. It's kind of, if you could, both together in process, mentally and emotionally, and you decide what you really want and need, then you decide to do what you want. The others has nothing to say about that. Absolutely. Okay, so let's take some questions from our studio audience. Uh, I want to post my question to my friend Mohamud and uh, Hosea. Now they've told us they have a daughter. I uh, just want uh, him to expound uh, when her daughter grows up uh, to a lady who wants to get married, now that she, uh, he will decide uh, on her behalf to be uh, a Muslim. Maybe Fatma uh, comes uh, uh, and finds a, a, a young man who is a Christian. Will he allow, allow her to get married to the same? I think he will. I think Muhammad is open-minded. Yeah? Uh, okay, Asante sana. Unajua... Ni maskizano yao. Kama venye liskizana mi na ama kefat maapa. Kuzi sezi kumpangia mtu wangu sheria kitu cha kwanza. Minta msomesha, akisha soma, atapata kazi. Then, kutafuta mwana 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 ni, ni, ni hiyari yake, unajua. Awe mkristo, awe muindi, awe masai, awe kablagani. Yo, so, so, <laughs> I think yendo atajichagulia mwenye, unajua. Yeah. Okay, uh, we had another question from the audience. Hello Tamima and everyone. My name is Jospat, and I would like to post my question to the couple of Daniel and Susan. So Daniel, my question is, which moral virtues in Susan inspired you, which you can teach to us today? Um, thank you, Tamima. Thank you, my brother, for that question. Number one, uh, men are visual beings. This lady is beautiful, you can see for yourself. Um, number two, um, uh, she has strength that I do not have. She's a bit tidier in what we do, so it's a compliment to my job. She is also um, well organized in everything, and she knows. She could have told me on that day that 
I'm thinking. But she didn't answer anything. She just said, oh my God. And that was all. We finished our job. And then she got back to me the next day, very early in the morning. And I knew that uh, this is a lady. So she's also straightforward. I like that. And another thing is a young man. You are an original. So there's, it's very hard to copy and paste because it has to come from a deeper conviction from inside of you. It's as you are unfolding a story of your own. So as an original, get your conviction from all these four stories. These are nuggets of many stories. So the, everyone is coming from a deeper con conviction of what they believe in. So that is what will deliver to you the, the future and a story that you want to write for the rest of the world to hear. Susan, do you agree? For me, what I can tell them is that I can't tell you to follow your heart because, because sometimes your heart can lie to you. And I can't tell you to follow your feelings. What I can tell you is to listen to your spirit within you. Because for me, it was that peace convicted me to, to get married to this man. Let's take the final question. Hi, Tamima. My name is Diana, and my, my question goes to Naomi and Burak. I'm asking, have two of you ever felt insecure when, with the long-distance relationship? Because there is a time you can have a problem, and you need your guy or your girl to be there with you. Yeah, sometimes I do. I mean, we're human beings. I can't pretend I don't feel insecure at some point. Yeah, and sometimes you fight over the phone, but... Yeah, at the end of the day, we just come with a mutual agreement. What about you, Burak? Well, where I'm coming from, sometimes it's a little bit cold, and I worried about pickpocketing here in Kenya, but I feel very secure, actually. <laughs> <laughs> You're very secure, 100%. Mm. No okay. problem. And maybe Rhoda. Rhoda, what about you? Because you're also in long distance. So sometimes you really wish he was here for, he was here for me and all that. He tells me the same. But so the struggle is real, but it's possible. There you go. So on that note, we wind up tonight's show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, that's it from me, Tamima, and the rest of the crew. Do enjoy the rest of your viewing. Good night. Are you ready? Okay. My name is Diana, and welcome to Real Talk with Tamima. Hi, my name is Wathi, and... Welcome to the Rio Talk. This is today. We are going to talk about unique couple. Uh -huh. <laughs> Be with us, the Real Talk with Jamimo on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and make sure you give your feedback. Let's enjoy this. I am Tamima, the host of Real Talk with Tamima, and I would like to invite you to be part of my audience or a guest on the show. All you have to do, if you have a story that is very personal, very powerful, and you want to inspire other people, please reach out to the show via the email address on your screen or the number as well.